Mrs. Rose House, did you know that there's 99 days until the next school year? Only 99? Yes. Oh, I have a lot of books that I'm going to have to read in 99 days. I don't know if that's going to be enough time. I better start reading. You can read one book per day. Like a book like that. Like a book like Love That Dog? I might. It's a good book. Today's lunch is hamburger on a whole grain bun, steamed carrots, offerings bar, and a choice of milk. And now, some public service announcements from the Wilson Video Crew. Counselors to grade 5 classrooms throughout districts in the morning. Grade 7 and 8 band and orchestra concert at 7 p.m. 8th grade memory dinner permission slips are due today. Hey, Shutterbugs is canceled today. We'll have our last meeting next week. Remember, Shutterbugs is canceled today. Last meeting next week. And then our club meets from 2.50 to 3.50. 27 is a special breakfast that will be provided for students and, pr and principal list certificates will be handed out. Sixth and seventh grade students who earn principal list honors for quarters one, two, and three will be invited to attend a special breakfast. This will be a student's only breakfast. I know it's getting warm outside. Make sure no ripped shorts, no tight shorts, no crop tops, and no spaghetti straps. Foul dress code. Paul Wilson. Ms. Ashall is in desperate need of paper, aka newspaper, and styrofoam. So please go down to Ms. Ashall's room, aka the art room, and give all the stuff if you want and if you can. Goodbye. Readers, if your Chromebook is damaged and in need of repair in any way, please report it to Mr. Greenlee in the LRC so that these can get repaired. You will be turning in your Chromebook soon. And getting those problems fixed now will help the technology department. You also want to make sure you have your charger, as there will be a $20 fee for any lost chargers. Thank you. Boys and Girls Track Pizza Party will be held Thursday, June 2nd. Again, next Thursday, June 2nd. Thursday, June 2nd, after school. Here's some words about sports for next year. Everybody, I'm Mrs. Valentine. I'm Coach Taylor. And we are the middle school cheerleading coaches here at Wilson. Tryouts are May 31st and June 2nd at 315 in the new gym. Uh, don't forget to pick up an information packet in the office. See you there. Hey, football people, especially eighth graders. Guess what? We've been actually meeting at 9 o'clock on Sundays at the Roosevelt High School. So those 8th graders become a ninth grade football players. If you want to get ahead of the game and know some plays and meet the coaches that are at the high school, come on over on Sundays at 9 o'clock to the Roosevelt High School field, and you will learn a lot about football. And to be part of this great legacy 8th graders, you can go to weightlifting at 345 at the Roosevelt High School weight room. Coach Filippiak is going to have it open for everybody that's in 8th grade going into ninth grade to go ahead and get a nice workout in. See you all there at 345 on Mondays and Wednesdays. Soccer camp is coming up. It'll be from June 13th to the 15th. For information, see Mr. Kaneko. All 8th grade girls that want to play basketball for freshman year, please contact Marissa Salve. If you want to go be a part of the Marching Chiefs, make sure you appear at the dates listed on this flyer. Have a great day. Hey, what's up, Wilson? Hey, I just wanted to have a short, quick meeting Thursday, June 2nd, after school for anyone that uh, plays hockey. Uh, I'm trying to grow the hockey community here. And uh, we're going to be talking about our ACT Fridays in the summertime. Uh, Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Last night was 8th grade honors night. Here are some pictures from it, and then we have the video from the Al DeFran Award.
Fran Award. And let me just tell you a little bit about this. The Elder Fran Award was initiated in 1989 by the Wilson Middle School staff and administration to honor longtime Wilson principal, Mr. Alfred DeFran. Mr. DeFran was well liked by his peers and admired for his leadership skills. He was a man who demanded excellence of everyone, including himself. He expected students to not only treat staff with respect, but also to show the same respect to their fellow classmates. Mr. DeFran demonstrated true leadership. This award not only honors Mr. DeFran, but also honors outstanding eighth grade students each year. All nominees for this award are selected by Wilson Middle School staff members. At the start of this process, a number of great student candidates are discussed, and I mean a number of them. The conversation centers around student behavior, their treatment of their peers, leadership, academic achievement, involvement in things like sports, music, clubs, and extracurricular activities. The conversation also centers around contributions that students make to the school as a whole, such as through our peer-to-peer -peer elective class, student council, and peer mentoring. After some discussion and consideration of each candidate, a voting process narrows the selection to the top 10 finalists. Further discussion ensues regarding the finalists before a final vote is cast by each staff member, which then determines the top two winners. It is an honor to even be mentioned for this award, so congratulations to all the finalists, even though some of you don't even know who you are because maybe you're not getting recognized tonight, but your name was definitely mentioned by staff members in meetings. Before I announce the winners, I would like to mention what they will receive. They will have their name added to a plaque. I should say it's already been added. We're ahead of the game on that one. So the name, don't show it, is hidden on that plaque. Someone's got binoculars out there. So the winner is already on that plaque. It's going to be posted in our hallway outside the auditorium. And over the years, you have a whole bunch of students listed from 1989. Then you will also receive a trophy. All finalists will receive a certificate. And then the winners will also receive a $250 scholarship upon their graduation from Roosevelt. So it's important that the students who win, they remember to go get that $250 when they graduate. So without further ado, let me introduce to you the 2022 top 10 finalists for the Wilson Middle School Elle de France Scholarship Award, which will actually be 11 because of a tie. So the top 11 candidates, please come up here Teachers are going to come, kind of move aside a little bit, but they're going to give you your um, either certificate. They are not going to pass out the star trophies or show the plaque yet because we'll announce those winners after everyone's up here. So, please come up, Nolan Allman. <laughs> Eleanor Grant. Jaden Hoverbrook, <laughs> Riley Hawkins, <laughs> Aiden Kingsley, <laughs> Chris Luna. Daisy Moline, <laughs> Paula Negrete, <laughs> Cooper Schaefer, <laughs> Analia Zapata, <laughs> and Milani Zapata. Okay, again, key things, leadership, 
behavior, academics, everyone exemplified those things, so it was very challenging, very close um, on the votes. Leadership is the challenging one in middle school. It's really hard to be a leader at this age, and it's hard to explain what a leader looks like or does. So sometimes that's one of those things that there's just sometimes students are quiet, but they can be quiet leaders still. They can lead by example. And then there's also students who are maybe a little more vocal and they stand up for other students when somebody is maybe, you know, saying some mean things. So there's all kinds of reasons why these students were chosen. So the top two winners are Eleanor Grant. And Cooper Schaefer. to all the finalists and to everyone here today. We can um, have students stay up on stage or just come up if you want to take extra pictures, but a great place to take pictures is